Site speed matters. Not only does a slow site frustrate customers, it repels them. Slow websites have been linked to higher bounce rates and lower conversions. I think a really good way of putting it is, if it's not fast, it's broken. Milliseconds could mean millions in missed sales for today's businesses, and even negatively impact organic search ranking. So here are five ways you can help increase your site speed and ultimately improve your customer experience. One of the most important things you can do to help your overall performance is to understand what happens to your website when it loads. An easy way to do this is through Google's PageSpeed Insights. Analyze your product collection and homepage, and it will provide you with a list of opportunities sorted by priority, as well as a score showing you where you fall in relation to other sites. So understanding what's actually on your website and then using that as a stepping stone to evaluate what's actually needed is honestly the best first step. Shopify is a tool right inside the admin called the Online Store Speed Report. Knowing what you get out of the box with your platform will allow you to focus on what really matters. With Shopify, there's no need to worry about image compression, setting up a content delivery network, or edge services for fast, reliable hosting. Often, third-party integrations or apps you've added to your site create scripts to achieve desired functionality. If I were to stack rank the problems that we see, third-party JavaScript would probably be the number one problem. But before you dive into the code to deal with those scripts, simply audit the current third-party apps installed on your site and remove any that aren't necessary. Just clean those up. That by itself will get you mileage. Now you need to start popping the hood. For the third-party integrations that remain, it's recommended to delay them until after the most important things load first like images, product videos, and styles for the site. And understand that speed is part of marketing, and we want to find a balance within that. Before a browser can display a page to your customers, it has to go through a process called parsing the HTML. But there's a particular kind of script that interrupts this process, called parser blocking scripts. Fortunately, there's an easy fix, and all it takes is the async or defer attribute. You got access to the code, you're gonna do one thing, just make all your scripts to defer. If you can't do that, make them async, but they basically unblock the browser so they can do many things at the same time. It takes five minutes to do, and it's the number one thing I would recommend. After making these changes to your code, check to make sure that your website is still offering the same desired experience. If so, your site will magically become a little faster. And if you do that to all your render blocking or parser blocking tags, then your site will be significantly faster. To help address speed problems related to JavaScript-ridden widgets and pop-ups that you deem necessary, there is a common solution called the import on interaction pattern. What this will do is that instead of loading the full widget, it will load a shell that looks just like the thing, and when you click on it, it will load it. By loading the slow JavaScript only when the user chooses to interact with it, you can prevent the page from loading slowly for all customers that come to your site. Prioritize user experience over third-party integration. Video is quickly becoming the language of the internet, but depending on how they are embedded on your site, they can cause big differences in load time. One of the biggest reasons websites are slow is usually have a video on their homepage that is loading actually another web page inside the web page. Not only does the standard embed code from YouTube make your site more bloated, it uses the iframe tag, where the width and height of the video player are fixed. So your video doesn't adjust to the screen size of different devices. If you're going to use these third-party services, use them with the latest code snippets. The solution is called Light Embeds, which loads the videos directly on your web page, making your site faster. For more insights and advice on improving site speed, follow us on social and sign up for our newsletter.